Well, a very heartbreaking story, but unfortunately not uncommon. The latest data from the Utah Highway Safety Office shows hit and run crashes are on the rise in the state. Since 2017, there have been more than 700 incidents involving pedestrians, bicycles and skateboarders. Almost 200 just last year. ABC 4's Jordan Burroughs has the latest on this data. He's live in West Jordan, where a memorial is now starting to grow for 13-year-old Eli Mitchell. The most alarming part about this data is that it shows last year eight people died from hit and run crashes. Eli Mitchell, the first this year and certainly won't be the last if this trend keeps up in this data. The memorial growing here right next to me off 90th South in West Jordan. You can see some of his favorite video games, candles and flowers, a sign saying rest in peace, Eli. Today we spoke with Jacob Finch. His 13 year old son was hit and killed uh, by a car last Halloween. It wasn't a hit and run, but he says he knows the pain the Mitchells are going through. We were following the following it since we woke up this morning. This morning, the Finch family heard news that brought back heartbreak. It did a little bit. It kind of brought back a lot of the memories from that night. That night was October 31st, 2021, when 13 year old Carl Finch was hit and killed by a car while crossing a crosswalk in Taylorsville. It was one of Jacob Finch's four kids. He was the oldest. Be ready for a long, bumpy road. That's really all I can say. He now has advice for the Mitchells, whose 13 year old son was a victim of a hit and run Tuesday night in West Jordan. There's a lot of ups, there's a lot of downs. There's a lot of feelings. There's a lot of sorrow and heartache. The biggest thing I can say is cling to each other and and uh, feed off of each other and help each other lift each other when they're down. And yeah, just just be there for each other. That's really what it comes down to. The Utah Highway Safety Office says eight people died from hit and run crashes last year. So far this year, there's one. Eli Mitchell. Jacob Finch says the data is alarming, but people need to know what's going on. Honestly, it just comes down to people just need to be more aware of their surroundings. They need to put their cell phones down when they're in their cars. They need to pay attention to what's going on around them is really what it comes down to. And then take responsibility for your actions. Again, one more look here at the memorial for Eli Mitchell around 90th South in West Jordan. The Utah Highway Safety Office looking at all of its data shows that 23 people died from hit and run accidents uh, involving pedestrians, bicyclists and skateboarders. Eight died in 2017, eight last year and one this year, that being Eli Mitchell. Reporting live in West Jordan, Jordan Burroughs, ABC4 News.